Hello and welcome, my name's Jay Riviera and we are back with more Bedlam. We are just about to head off to this elite fight. Hopefully it goes well, hopefully we get a decent elite. Where could we find somebody to... We could do with, well, we've got a veteran frontliner. We could do with maybe a trencher or a gunslinger. They would both be brilliant. Um, so let's head off. I am probably going to take more people to this fight. I'll probably take the full four. Just in case, it's Bave Trumbull. King Viscera sent B Bave Trumbull to splatter your soft little fleshes <laughs> with my Roto Cannon. Gonna be messy. So he is a gunslinger, I believe. Um, right, you need to leave. And you were a trencher. So let's bring our. Do you know what? It's probably not gonna be a good idea to bring a veteran sniper. Because he can be one shotted by a um He can be one shotted by an elite. And it's probably not gonna be good to bring a gunslingers because they have the same range. I think what we'll do is we will bring And I don't want to lose me trencher either that has two kills. Who has two kills? Right, you have two kills, right? He has no kills, so he can come onto the mission. I think we've got to bring the sniper, you know? But up against a gunslinger, this could become a very difficult match. Maybe bring two frontliners for zoning. Gunslinger is going to have seven. Right. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be the best idea. Bring two frontliners. A trencher and our sniper. Maybe we should have really dropped the trencher. And just brought with sniper and with two gunslingers. But what I'm thinking is if he's got other other units with him, the trench is going to be good to take out some of them. Right, so gunslinger, 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 and gunslinger. This is not great. Five health, he does four damage, okay. Is it cyborgs that lose HP every turn? So maybe we kind of get with veterans safe. One, two, three, four. Right, so he can hit with if we go and get these power cells. So I think that's probably the best idea. Power. And then one, two, three, and one along. One, two, three, and one along. He kind of hit with from where he is. So that means if we stand here, they're going to have to use two turns to hit our sniper. So it's probably going to be the best idea to bring the sniper and kill this gunslinger next turn. Hmm. Kill this gunslinger and back off, maybe? Two damage. Right. Yes, but cyborgs' damage goes up, doesn't it? Right, so their health goes down and their damage goes up. We could kill two of them right now. We could back off. Nobody could hit. we kill this gunslinger. The trench is probably going to take a shot.
Right, let's just click off him and onto him. One, two, three, four. So no, this guy could could hit with here. I think both of them can hit with with sniper. I think maybe kill this guy and then bring the front liner in front of the sniper afterwards might be the best bet right let's just do that we could kill this guy in two we can be hit here right so for line of sight let's just bring the front liner in the way hopefully this guy can't hit with he can't which is not great right so let's trench the shit out of him and he's dead we cannot use equalizers either <clears throat> Right, what I think we should do is bring the other frontliner back over. And we can actually get a shot away here, which is perfect. Level up? No. Nope. Hmm. And then I think we'll bring the sniper back kind of sit on the baseline or even bring the trencher in now nah, we need to bring the sniper back because if anybody gets a shot away at him we're going to lose with veteran three health we can take you down one two right we lost a trencher but that's fine you have three health. We can do four. Watch your range. Four in front. So if you stand here, one, two, three, four. You cannot reach for sniper, which is awesome. So let's go up here. How far can you move? Right, you can pretty much move to hit with. Which isn't great. We do 8 damage, right. So I think it's about time that we sacrifice this frontliner. Well, no, you can't stay there. Where can you move? Right, to here. One, two, three, four. Right, so what we've got to do is we've got to kind of set up so that we can hit. So that we can hit him with the sniper next turn. So if we put the sniper here. And we're going to have to pull with veteran frontliner out or he's going to die. But keep him close enough where he's going to be able to do some damage maybe. Just in case. Right, we'll pull you two back maybe. Right, where can he hit? If he stands here, so he can hit one, two, three, four from his corner, and he can stand here, one, two, three, four, 
so we can stand in this slot here and not take damage We need you to move four places, don't we? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Now, if we pull this frontliner back, he might be stupid enough to come and attack the frontliner. Then pull him one forward, or actually one to the side. Right, let's see what happens. Is he going to shoot him? And you're dead because you're in sniper range. One. Two. Awesome. Right. We had to sacrifice. In theory, we... Yeah, we should have brought the trencher, or else that could have been a completely different battle. Alright, I give... You got the best of Biv Trumbull. I'll ride with you. Maybe it's the best chance of wiping that boss and dragger King Viscera off the map. Awesome. So this is our elites. Well, these are elites. We have far too many gunslingers. And they are OP. That's all I can really say about them. They are just high damage, better than average health. The only problem that they have is their move capacity isn't very good. So let's just bring them onto, onto the team. We will rest our frontliner and rest our... What's he called? Um, trencher. Was it the trencher? No, it was two frontliners. Right, I get you. Right, no, sniper and frontliner. I do not know what I'm talking about today. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, so we have some points of interest, but our team will have to be pretty much all gunslingers. Well, no, because we're going to have to start bringing these snipers along anyway. You have two kills. You're definitely going to be coming on the mission. And you have a kill. You have two. You recover in one day. Right, so let's drop you and we will head off to one of these points of interest. I think doing with due dil diligence here is actually going to help with because we are going to be able to survive a lot longer. As the crew explores the area, they discover a scrap field covered with dismantled AI components. In the center of the parts is a large tank-like AI unit with twin protovolt cannons. Its armor is tarnished from exposure of Bedlam's climate. Try to reactivate the unit. The crew removes the unit's rear plate and, and begins tinkering, but after some time spent splicing circuits and replacing damaged diodes, the unit still has not reactivated. Crew leaves scrap field. Ah, bollocks. I was hoping for some kind of um, AI unit there. As the crew is exploring a region of dusky flatlands, they come across a vast expanse and what looks like a crumbling temple at the far end. The field leading up to the temple is filled with large clusters of corroded, corroded metals covered with soot, the remnants of ancient vehicles. We may as well try to find a way inside. The crew finds a in a damaged wall large enough to fit through the slip and slips into the shambles of the building. Most of the place is demolished and inaccessible, but one stall bearing the name Valentino Tactical Outfit has appears mostly intact and could be explored. The crew steps in through the shattered stone form window and begins seeking valuable items. The store is largely being stripped of anything useful. They are able they are about to leave empty handed when one of the crew bumps into something. Even though there seems to be nothing there, there is a trunk as something falls to the floor. There is a thunk as something falls to the floor and suddenly blinks into view. It is a mannequin wearing a stealth suit. Oh shit! And has remained camouflaged for all this time. 
This type of technology could prove useful, using crew to move virtually unseen during combat. Yes. <laughs> Fucking right we do. Right, so I'm guessing that's a new equalizer. Delivers a high-tech camouflage field to make crew members virtually undetectable. That's awesome. That is fucking awesome. That is going to play so much into our hands late game when we've got the energy to actually get through this. Right, so crew deficiency. And um, we'll wait for now. I think we're going to need to keep at least 11, well, 10, just for the heals on the battlefield. You know, it's better to have that than to lose, an eight, lose a soldier. So let's do these points of interest and see what comes of it because they seem very lucrative at the minute. While exploring the area not far from the road, the crew discovers the remains of a building surrounded by rusted husks of several ancient vehicles. A faded sign above the crumbling structure appears to say, Camisto Burgers. That grown satisfaction. Enter the building. May as well. Venturing inside the dilapidated building, the crew finds a lot of rubble, but not much of value until they discover a hatch in the floor of the rear room. Unsealing the hatch releases a hiss of air. The room below has been hermet hermetically, hermetically sealed all this time. The crew descends into a large chamber that seems untouched by the ages of decay above. Lying in the room are racks and racks of containers that all bear the same label. Synth sirloin never expires. The crew returns to the dover, dozer with the substantial new supply of meat. That is not substantial. 84 is not substantial. Oh, we have an elite. Which is awesome. I am going to do this um, point of interest first. And then we're going to head off, see if we can pick up another elite. I would love a frontliner because we are running low on them. Um, trenchers as well. After climbing a rocky ridge, the, mind you, there is an elite called Sister who is a sniper. And she is just super OP. Like super, super OP. After climbing a rocky ridge, the crew discovers a makeshift shack assembled from the various scrap. Nestled in the cr crevice of a cre crevice of a cliff wall. Approaching cautiously, the crew notices a patch of fresh blood on the ground near the entrance. Enter the shack, we may as well. Weapons at the ready, the crew enters the shack to find two fairly fresh corpses. Both men are holding bladed instruments and appear to have died from many deep cuts. On a nearby beach are several recently carved flanks of... Right, we're getting meat here. That is not a lot of meat. Right, so let's go to this elite now. Come on, sister. Come on. It's Chunderrock. Right, so he is a trencher. So we kind... We kind of want ranged units against him because he has to get close to actually deal damage. Chunderrock be giving you morts to belly a bile. Turn your morts into meat chowder. Right, so we want ranged, so... Biv's definitely going... See, but in elite fights, you can lose elites pretty easily. Jazirum, you are definitely going. So Chunderrock will have about 12 to 14 health, probably, being a trencher. None of our other snipers have kills. Maybe if we set up like an ambush. And I'm going to bring a frontliner just as bait, really. I would love to get the double meat and double crude. But we aren't very... Well, we're not running out of meat and crude at the minute. So it's probably going to be better to... Like in the last um, elite fight, we baited the guy out to kill that frontliner. Which allowed us to take him down with a sniper. Right, so trencher, 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 and trencher. Right, so I'm seeing a um, pattern here. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring our frontliner across to where the trencher can't hit. 
which is this spot right here just to give some form of cover and how far can this trencher get to here right so let's set Biv up kind of we want him being able to hit that cover so here maybe just move one along right well you are dead do we want another veteran sniper maybe we could definitely get a veteran sniper here just because mutants have such little health Watch your damage five, right? Awesome. There we go. We have another veteran sniper, which means he could probably one shot these other guys. Right, let's have P Biv pull. Do you know what? You can get the meat. Get the meat, and then kill this guy. Awesome. Chunderrock has 13 health. I said between 12 and 14. So... He has 7, 7. Right. Let's deal with these guys first, and then we can deal with Chunderrock. Headshot! Headshot! Right, let's just deal with him now. He's moved right into our range. Oh yeah! In theory, we didn't actually need the... Um, front liner, but it was definitely worth taking it. Chun Chunda Rock's got the hungers after all this fight. Chunda Rock, come wit. You mortar are replenishing his belly. Ch <laughs> Chunda Rock has joined the doors. That awesome. Right, the team's starting to look a bit better now. We have a couple of elites um, running with a couple of veterans. Now we've got two veteran snipers, one veteran frontliner, which is always a nice thing to have. And that means that Morrigan has a full health pool now. So yeah, um, I'm not sure how long it's ran, but I think it's probably about 20 minutes. So I'm going to end the episode off here. Actually... Oh, shit. Will these points of interest disappear? Well, you know, we'll use it as a little test. See if um, the game is bugged where the points of interest disappear when you reload. So, yeah, please do drop a like or a comment if you did enjoy the episode. Stay hidden. Oh, one second. Um, I did turn around in the first video and I said, if you want your name in this playthrough, just tag one of the one of the names of the soldiers and I'll, I'll just put you in every playthrough that we do and if we move on to a different class what I'll do is where that person was sitting so if you want to be a dead eye just put yourself as a dead eye and if you want to be a frontliner put yourself as a frontliner and obviously each team will probably have about 16 people so I will just use the names that are um, in that position so if you're Jazirim if he started he starts here so, if we are the Marauders, the one who is here is going to be you. So, yeah, please do drop a like or a comment if you did enjoy the episode. Stay hidden, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.